hi as a developer it's very important to know about the different ways by which the performance of app can be increased so here today i am going to discuss about node.js cluster module so at first what is cluster so if the definition of cluster is it's a it's a uh, it's a pool of similar uh, work worker threads which runs under master process and uh, which communicates with the master process through ipc so it's uh, a definition and uh, we don't need to go in the deeply deep into the what is ipc and all so if we if we talk in the layman language then uh, the pro the cluster is a way by which we can create multiple child process if we are having a, a multi core processor machine and uh, which the child process shares the same port so this is the mainly cluster now the next point is why we need cluster module so as we all know that node js runs on single thread and uh, it has some limitations while working with that so let's say if we are working with node js and the, the machine which we are running on the app uh, is having multi core machine so th at that time let's say if we are having four core machine and we are using only one then we are using only 25 percent of the resource so here we can utilize all the cores of the machine by by using cluster module so with the help of this like the performance of you know, the performance of app increases let's say if we have four and we are using one and then if we again later on we use four then the app gets four times faster than earlier and also the the capacity of handling the traffic increase four times so this way uh, like it, it it create a lot of effect on the performance of the application and now the third point is how this cluster module works so for that let's move to the code here it's just a copy paste code and here we can see that uh, there at the top we are having cluster http os so it's the cluster comes with node.js to for the creating the child process here should be for creating server os for like using the methods and properties of operating system we are using right and now on the next line line number six we can see cluster dot is master so this line mainly checks that the current process is master process if it's yes then it's creating the number of child process as per the code available in our machine so let's say if uh, the number of Core is four, then four different child process will be created with this code. And here you can see that uh, it this block, like the cluster on exit block, mainly like creates new uh, child th process whenever any any child process kills due to any reason. So this is very automatic and very efficient, I we can say. And the else block, we can see that here we are just creating a simple server, nothing else. So let's let's run this code. Let's see what happens here. So I have already run here. If you want, you can run it again. So here you can see that master process is having some different process ID, and the workers are having different process ID. So all these processes are like sharing the same uh, same uh, port of the server, and uh, like mainly split the traffic load and definitely increase the capacity of the app to handle the. Uh, handle the um, requests from the client now let's move to the next part so here you can see that uh, there are the different uh, child processes here and which which all are like mainly uh, communicating to the master process here and now here we have uh, like different methods um, which uh, which are available with cluster model which we can use in our app while working with cluster so here we just use fork and uh, is master kill we can use for killing any process so i think this is the the um, information which is uh, which is needed for any developer to implement cluster modules but definitely if, if you are using multiple machine and uh, working with node.js then cluster module helps a lot to improve the performance of the app hope it, the video has uh, helped you a lot thanks for watching this video